All right. Hey, this is Donald Bell from Maker Project Lab, and I'm going to try to show you how to assemble a mini Strambis kit in under four minutes. I've got this all time lapsed and going super fast, but this is going to give you the broad strokes of what it takes to assemble this cool little mini Strambis. All right. So you got the bag of parts. Uh, the parts are all separated out into different sections to make it easy to identify the different pieces. Uh, the first task you're going to do is to put these little tiny rubber feet on the bottoms of each of these little leg sections. This is kind of tedious. I ripped one, but there was an extra one in the kit, so I was able to have one get out of jail free card. Uh, next, you're going to be assembling the legs. And this is kind of the toughest part. It's almost like a little secret handshake for how the joints all go together. But once you get it, and this is showing you what it looks like when it's all together, once you get it, it's just a pattern and you can go through and assemble all 12 legs exactly the same. And you can see, I start getting the hang of it. Boom, it's like a little leg factory. And they're all the exact, they're all symmetrical. They're, there's not like a right leg and a left leg. Um, they all are exactly the same. So you don't have to worry about having them flipped in orientation for this next step. They're all, they're all the same. Um, this next bit is the, uh, the crankshaft, just showing how that connects to this A-frame, um, and then all of the legs are going to be connected onto that shaft um, and, the, and to the frame um, by a series of four different arms that go from the leg and snap onto the shaft. It's hard to describe, and it took me a while to wrap my head around it too, because um, you're going to do this for um, you know, six different sets of legs and you don't want to screw it up uh, at the beginning and realize uh, halfway through that you got to undo all your work so I really I went to the instructions uh, back and forth I even pulled out a separate set of instructions I downloaded online just to make sure I had the order right of how each of those arms uh, attach here's the other set of instructions how each of those arms attach to the uh, crankshaft and what order they attach in because they made a big point to see uh, to say how uh, there's a specific order they should go in to pay attention to the order. Long story short, if you just ha make sure that the each arm that you attach in each step, step by step, is going where the, the newest arm is going on the top, you're going to be fine. Um, it's pretty obvious when you have it connected the wrong way. So once I got confident with it, I just proceeded. And again, this it's just a, it's just a pattern. You go through like a little factory. Now, here's an important point. These A-frames, I learned little too late they they are asymmetrical they have a protrusion point that um, helps them link into each other so uh, don't get too far along before you realize that those a frames are meant to stack just in one way um, all right so i'm putting in the little steel rods to stiffen up those legs uh, the rubber band is really there just to help provide some tension so it all grips together uh, and then there's this fan, uh, or the turbine, I guess. Uh, each of these, there's, these are the smallest bits in the entire kit. These little plastic grommets that go on to hold the fan blades in place. Um, if you really wanted to make that strong, you could put a little uh, super glue, a little CA glue to, to make that joint extra strong, but mine didn't pop off. Next, you have the two gears, and then the fan, or the turbine itself, has its own gear and a little metal shaft that puts it in place and then you're spinning you're off and running all right so that is the uh, mini stram beast assembled super fast uh the four, four minute time lapse version i hope that was helpful uh head over to makerprojectlab.com to see more build notes on this particular build um also we'll describe the differences between the, uh, the $16, $17 generic mini Strambies that you can find online and the higher priced one from Gakken and from uh, uh, Teo Janssen himself from Strambies.com. This particular build video was for the, the generic uh, low cost version. The, the high cost version is, is, is worth the price if you can, if you can spare the extra money, uh, slightly higher quality parts and a better overall turnout, but essentially the same practical design. All right, again, Donald Bell, makerprojectlab.com. Thanks for watching.